Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, about a week ago, I started thinking what to present exactly at this conference because the most important part about the Technology Business Center is our clients and the product developed by our clients. But at the same time, uh, today they present their products themselves. So any, uh, they do it better, will do it better than me. And uh, if I presented some statistics, it's also, I believe, will be too boring. And I decided probably to talk more about some general trends, uh, some general changes that Technology Business Center is a part of. Uh, but before doing this, I uh, present some basic information about Technology Business Center. And uh, our goals is uh, support, develop uh, priority, innovation priority areas. In Latvia, uh, our director already mentioned that we have five five priority areas and the uh, important thing about this is that we develop like triple helix model for that uh, because we don't provide some services themselves as bureaucrats we cooperate with uh, universities uh, and uh, together with universities we provide our clients with different kind of services it may be prototype developing uh, services it also may be uh, help in developing business models, it may be teaching learning activities, and uh, as I said, uh, we develop it with uh, no, four, uh, four units, uh, three universities actually, Riga Technical University, Latvian University, and Riga Stradens University, and Riga Business School as a part of Riga Technical University. Yes. And uh, this uh, triple helix models uh, is quite specific in Latvian context because we work with uh, small and medium sized enterprises and also what is interesting that uh, individuals, individual uh, inventors can participate in our programs. It is some uh, specific uh, feature about us, specific characteristics because in many other programs only companies can take part. But we found that there is a huge interest on the part of individuals, and this is a great thing. Uh, we have quite a lot of uh, clients, uh, 330 uh, clients. Uh, majority of them participate in one of our program called Innovation Academy. And after me, there will be Vester Saucers who will talk more about Innovation Academy activity, but another program is a prototype program, and this is about developing prototypes. Uh, here you can see some basic statistics, including gender balance, that is perfect in our case. Uh, and you can see also that uh, major client uh, basis is uh, individuals, not companies. Uh, interest about us uh, from the part of society, from the part of community, on the part of the community of inventors or startups is uh, quite high. You can see on this graph actually that application is, uh, the number of application is much bigger than the uh, number of participants that can be accepted in our programs. And now, as I promised it, I will focus on some trends that uh, we experienced uh, during our uh, technology business pro project and uh, some of these uh, changes, I would say, affected our work, but uh, some of the changes we contributed to, I believe. And the first uh, trend that we uh, went through is uh, this shift from uh, shallow tech to deep tech, I would say, and uh, I would say that even Technology Business Center itself was created as a reaction to this changing paradigm, actually, because uh, I remember that some times ago, this uh, shallow tech, so-called, well, by shallow tech I mean this uh, mobile applications, uh, uh, different uh, tools of electronic commercial uh, platforms, and etc., uh, etc., et this was dominating trend, and uh, this is a uh, no, quite uh, clear because it was the case. Uh, some times ago, uh, many companies started to shift 
their uh, business models from non-digital non to digital ones. And this is a digitalization trend. And in those times, this uh, uh, shallow tech was uh, quite important, just from the point of view of digitalization of business. Uh, today, uh, this uh, priority changed, I would say. And it's clear that uh, the things that we're discussing today, let's say climate change or uh, environmental challenges, uh, it can be, uh, uh, I'd say, overcome, all the changes can be overcome by means of m mobile application. We need some uh, science-intensive project to do it. We cannot, uh, with a mobile application, fight uh, pandemics, viruses, diseases. Uh, we can, uh, with a mobile application, build uh, smart cities or try to solve some uh, energy efficiency solutions, etc., etc., etc. And for this uh, reason, this trend is evident. Today, everyone talk about this uh, deep tech, and deep tech uh, also is this conference is focused on this, and uh, we are part of that. Uh, our clients uh, mostly represent this deep tech approach. Another trend is that uh, it's uh, related to sustainability because the uh, concept of sustainability uh, cha have changed as well. Uh, I remember the times when uh, there's still no clarity what does it mean by sustainability. The majority of people think that it's something related to environmental problem. But at the very beginning, I remember that uh, there was just requirement not to think only in terms of market that we should evaluate as bureaucrats projects, not only taking into consideration I don't say market potential, um, uh, but we have to take into consideration how this project uh, no, relates to environmental challenges, for example. Uh, today, uh, sustainability approach includes uh, increasingly some social things as well. No, for example, we can mention here artif ethics of artificial intelligence, for example, or relationship between uh, democracy and technology. This is also one of the trends of today, but even uh, more recent trend, it is uh, uh, admitting that uh, it is not, uh, not enough to save democracy, actually. It is, uh, we should save our civilization, actually. And this is um, related to the acknowledgement that uh, sometimes uh, we uh, cannot solve human problems in human terms, actually. We should uh, somehow start to think about the sustainability from the point of view of uh, non-human living, living systems, for example, includes the whole biosphere. And uh, the most recent trend, I would say, is related with the space, uh, the space sustainability. Uh, a year ago, approximately, uh, no one, uh, no, I, it was really rare that some of LIA clients, uh, of our agency clients, talked about safe space sustainability, but now it is the case. Uh, people included in their application uh, some things related to this uh, space sustainability because it is clear that uh, the future uh, belong to this dimension, and uh, after a while, we will be uh, living like interplanetary, multiplanetary spaces, and uh, we should think about how to overcome this also space debris and all other challenges related exactly uh, to the uh, space economy, lunar economy, and uh, such kind of things. Uh, next trend uh, is a uh, uh, knowledge, innovation, democratization. It is really a story about uh, technology business center. As I said, we don't work only with companies. We work with uh, individual persons. And uh, our majority of our clients is uh, sole inventors. And they uh, don't even need a company to participate in our program. And uh, interest is high on their part. And uh, this is what we call, we can call it's no it's knowledge democratization uh, because it is clear that in order to go forward, we need to uh, make a change maker everyone today. We should broaden all the time this inventors community. 
And uh, today, innovation is not something that develops only in uh, uh, big corporations, uh, university research centers that belong to, I don't know, syndicates or cartels or uh, uh, powerful boards of big companies, uh, powerful families, etc., etc. Innovation, it has became grass grassroots thing actually, and uh, everyone today is change maker. And this is a great trend. We try to develop our uh, clients as a kind of community. Uh, and our events mostly focus it to bring these people together that they develop innovative solutions for different kinds of challenges. And now I have this uh, provocative uh, slide with some quotes, uh, quotes from famous authors that are very critical of bureaucracy. Even so bureaucracy is the cancer of society. And I would like to challenge these claims, actually, because we work in another way. And the Technology Business Center, one of, one of our achievements that we proved, I believe, we have proved that it is possible to experiment not only with products, but it's also ex uh, possible to experiment with uh, public, uh, with, uh, uh, no, yeah, with public programs, with public support programs. Actually, we all the time try to react to the changes around us uh, because uh, today uh, these changes in business models, changes in technology design took all the time. If we are not able to stick some regulation that was developed two times, uh, two years ago, for example, we need to adjust all the time. And I believe the technology center proved that it is possible because we change it. Uh, our evaluation criteria throughout out uh, over the last year. We changed uh, some procedures in order to make uh, our approach uh, friendly to our clients. We changed our, even our government's models in many, in many ways because it is important to, uh, the, to think about the future in the terms of forecasting what will be the next trend because the next trend uh, is already here and will be in the uh, field of uh, space. It will be in the field of uh, brain computer interfaces, uh, brain simulation interfaces, will be the gen editing and all this uh, challenging stuff that we need to forecast already, try to prepare our uh, bureaucratic basis for all this time. And uh, I believe that we quite uh, successful in this area, and um, after, uh, no, yeah, after my speech, there should be a sh uh, short video, as far as I know. Uh, it repeats some of the things that I already presented here, but also it will show some pictures of our clients. So thank you for your attention, and let's do good things together.